Well, I, I think what I like about it, it's a s small town, and um, me having four kids, I think it's a, a lot better uh, based upon that. Um, I do think that, you know, I, I think that as far as the city itself, you know, it's growing, it's getting bigger. The University of Akron is getting large. Um, there's a lot of good things, you know, happening with that. And, I, you know, I, I think, you know, it's progressing in the right way right now. You know, I just we want to see it continue to do that. So, Terrell, do you think Akron is moving in the right direction? I mean, I, I actually do, you see what I'm saying? Because um, so far, as in like school-wise, they starting to get a lot stricter. They um, making students wear uniforms and stuff, and now they try, like the at, like the elementary and the middle school students, they making wear uniforms. Now they trying to get the, all the high schools to have their students wear uniforms. So schooling-wise, yes, I think that Akron is doing pretty decent. Um, I feel like the police, they can, they should, I feel like they should step up too because it's still like the crime and stuff is still going on. The police is not doing their job, I don't feel. I feel like they doing their job to a certain extent, but they're not actually putting enough effort into what they supposed to do. See, what do you think? About what? <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pose a different question to you. You seem to be like a uh, superstar around here. <laughs> so, what do, you think, what do you think about, one of the things we've heard in other conversations is about the people of action. Do you feel like people are friendly and open and nice, or are they negative and respectful? What do you feel about the community feel in action? Um, they don't accept people who have disability or felonies, because people who have felonies, it's hard to find a job, you know, such as myself or whoever who has a felony. Um, Akron, I'm not particularly care about Akron, because, um, I prefer Cleveland better than Akron. Um, like, um, the gentleman said to my left, said there's officers who are not doing their job on time when there's incidents has happening, um, such as my dog yesterday. Um, it took them a while to get my dog back from a certain individual because he knows that me and my dog has a bond because he's my service dog and that's another thing you know I mean I like Akron but because it's small like he said but other than that he's you know doing the right for not accepting pets in community that has it a service dog is not willing to participate or willing to let it be involved for those who are disabled, such as myself. You know, Stan, uh, Travell and Dee both touched on the police issue and the crime and safety in the Akron neighborhood. And you have four children. I assume you're an Akron resident? Yes. Okay. Just want to touch on the crime issue? Well, um, as far as the crime go, I mean, nationally, if you look at other cities the size of Akron, crime rate is probably about the same. The crime rate is high all over the country. Um, but as far as what the police do here, I do believe, um, for being as small as it is, I mean, I, like you were saying, they could put a, a better effort forward. I think that would, could be resolved probably with hiring more, more officers, you know. Because I'm not really for sure exactly what the sheriffs do, other than, than run the jail. So I mean, you got a whole force of people there that you could put out on the streets. I think, you know, I know the sheriffs are, you know, throughout the whole county, but I mean, you know, they're right up the street. So you, if you needed more officers, like you would put those out, those people out on the street too. So because uh, <coughs> the sheriff's department do have the power to 
um, write tickets and arrests in Akron because they over the whole county. So, you know, I think that, that would be a, a, a bigger effort, you know, as far as the crime rate goes and everything. You know, it, it's, it's just it's bad all over, you know, as far as jobs and everything. Um, you know, one time Akron was the rubber capital of the world. You know, when that left, you know, I don't think the city was really prepared to find out what we're going to do now since the rubber companies are gone, you know. And, you know, it's, it's the whole industry as far as jobs and everything is different now. You know, it's, it's more, especially in Akron, it's more either you work at the hospital or you work for some sort of restaurant or that's or work for the city. Those are your basic three options there. You know, they can, you know, open up something more. I, you know, I, I just think, you know, they, they're, they're working toward it, but it, it's just going to take a while, just like the rest of the economy in the, in the whole country. Okay, just one last one. We're up against six minutes right now. Just a last question for everyone. We'll go around. Mm -hmm. Is did you find this valuable? I know a lot of people are kind of skeptical. Like, what are you guys doing over there? And after going through this, this situation, this experience, do you think it's valuable? Do you think it's useful? I, I think it's good because you know, it's good for people to be able to express their views on what they think. You know. It's, it's easy for you to sit at home and say to yourself, okay, I can't stand this, this is happening, but nobody's listening to you. So, you know, with a situation like this, you're able to express somebody's hearing what you're saying, you know, and hopefully it can work out better, you know, situation can change. What do you think? I think that it's actually a good thing that y'all is doing this because, see, if if y'all went, if y'all not here doing that, who else going to do it? You see what I'm saying? And... It's a good way for people to be able to express their feelings without feeling like, um, without feeling like they, like they shouldn't say something or feeling scared that somebody might find out that they've been sitting here talking about what, about how I can go. You see what I'm saying? So I actually do feel like it's a good thing, a wonderful thing, really. This situation, this conversation right here, has this been valuable to you? I know. When yeah, you, when it's because when you start opening up to people, and it's not like officers or metro buses, you know, authorities don't, um, they want to see improvement, what we can do for them is by opening up and say something because we close our mouth, don't get fed. You know, we need to focus on you know, on things that we need to share because if we don't, then it won't get out into community and help those who need our help.